It took me more than eight months of constant lead code grinding to become a guardian on lead code. I am the algorithm and on this channel, the daily algorithm, I share with you short videos of lead code problems, which are surely going to help you develop your DSS skills. So if you have still not followed me, please follow me and wait for that video every day. This is day 12 of lead code purity challenge and we are going to solve a hard problem today. Today's question is maximum number of events that can be attended part two. Here we are given an array of events where each event is described by three integers. The first is a start date, the second is the end date, and the third is a value. We are also given an integer k, which limits the number of events that we can attend. So we can attend only k events out of all the events that we are given, and we have to maximize the value that we get from attending an event. There's also one more catch that if you are attending an event, you have to stay there from the start day till the end day, and any event that is overlapping with that event, you cannot attend. Once we have read the question, the second step that I always say is to look at the constraints. When you see the constraints of this problem, you will see that the second constraint is very special. It says that k times events dot length should be less than equals to 1e6. Why would someone give this constraint to us? This is only because we have to solve this problem using a DP where every state is described by two integers. The first is k and second is an index that will tell us at which event of the array we are currently at. We should also sort this events array on the basis of the starting points because let's suppose we are at event i and we decide to not take it. In that case, if we move our pointer to the next event, we are pretty sure that this is also a valid event that we can attend or not attend depending on the choices that we have made earlier. The second point that we should notice that if we decide to attend an event in that case, we should skip all the events that are overlapping with the previous event so that the conditions of the question are still valid. Let's quickly look at the C++ solution. Here initially I've sorted this events array on the basis of the start day and then I've initiated a vector vector of int to store in my memoized values. I've initiated this function with 0 and k and for each index I have two choices. The first is to add that events value in my total value and then to move on to the next event that is not overlapping with my current event and the second choice is to skip that whole event and move on to the next event. 